Hey, you know who'd love this door? Who? He's got a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. No. I forgot his name though. No, he don't. Good morning and welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. How the hell? What are we working on? We got a log truck over there. One well, you've either got a kitty cat or a big deer. Uh, That's going to be in the next video probably, yeah. unfortunately. Stay tuned for that. So we got a couple kitty cats. We got a D7F here. We've got a D6D way back there. We'll probably work on here in a little bit. This is like the first time I've looked at this dude. You guys know I've messed with a lot of these. I buy these things off the uh, government. A lot of times we don't get more than a couple pictures, so <laughs> it's not looking too bad first off, other than the paint issues. I'm always impressed with how thick the military paints their paint. Oh yeah. Like they must paint it with a vacuum cleaner, so. I hate the chips. We do know this thing runs, so we've got that going for us. Ooh. We've got this super sweet access hole so we can see the hour meter. What's it say? 200 and something 700 and something we'll get in there and check that out later that's a picture ceiling oh boy <laughs> did you paint this did you only get one picture <laughs> this is why they're cheaper <laughs> this one might have to make a trip to the sandblaster huh. we'll check to see if there's any engine oil in it well, this paint something else, Kevin. Yeah. See if we got any oil over there. Up there, Bubby. Shazam. Is that a new oil filter? Newer. Is this going to be the first time in our life we don't have to uh, service the D7F? Maybe. Well, it was put on recently. Yeah. Only non-green part. Hmm. I'll check the transmission here before we fire it up just to see what's up. Good clean fresh oil. Check with transmission running at idle. So it's right below that. That's going to take a little bit once we get it in there. There you go, bud. Which is free. That's amazing. The levers aren't even sticky. See what happens. We got contact, contact. Yeah. I don't ah. think we have no lightning bolts. Ah. Some jumpy packy. I just turned that on. She's dead or in a hammer. We got some dead hawkers. This would be the positive. All these military machines, 24 volt. Kind of looks like there's been jumper cables on it before, you know? Huh. I don't even know where it won't start. How many lightning bolts is in it? Got 8.9. 8.9. Let's see what that does.
Hey, you know who'd love this door? Who? He's got a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot his name though. No, he don't need it. Big That's deal, really what is it, Big Deal 17 or something? Yeah, it's a really nice door. It is, it's like first time we've had any. Yep. We'll pretend we didn't see him. Okay. Hey, they're even yellow already too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Well, we've got a sticky throttle. What's this tag? Oh, it's just more of your good paint. We've got a sticky throttle it's messing up and the left hand steering clutch lever is a little stiff. We need batteries. I think the oil's good in it, don't you, Kevin? Yeah. And that filter's just been changed, got the date on it and stuff, so. We may look at the fuel filters on the other side. Can you believe all the lights worked? Yeah, I was kind of surprised there. We do need some new hawkers. You guys don't know these are military only batteries they have their own batteries they use these in like everything even you buy an old hummer even the old chevy trucks and stuff they put those in them they keep one battery where it fits their tanks or whatever so we do keep these in stock um we got the napa version of them we'll probably go ahead and get these dudes changed out first where are you going with these I'm pretty sure I hit my head. Everybody's gonna be asking about your eyebrow. Yeah, Somebody. that's, that's so uh, Kevin, employee, employer domestic violence, off camera. So yeah, was it last Thursday? Yeah. Well, let's go back to Wednesday when okay. you dropped something on my head. No. Nah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Nowhere near the same. What'd you drop on my head? It's like a whole uh, creeper or something. No, it? <laughs> it was a flashlight. A flashlight. One of those big Milwaukee. Big metal one. Yeah, it was heavy. Anyway, we had an impact fell down. He had safety glasses on and busted his eyebrow. Yeah, that was fun. He was thinking about stitches. I'm like, you go get stitches and you're not going to have an eyebrow for six months because they're going to shave it off. And then people will make fun of you. <laughs> and people on YouTube will make fun of you. <laughs> That's all right. I said, they already do. What did I do with that? Felt like it just had that. Hmm. Well, we'll find it. Oh, you got it. I was gonna tighten it down for you. Oh, went to grab the wrench. I almost grabbed all the paint. Put it on the hood there. You know how people are typing in the comments right now? Yep. I don't like the way you hammer those connections on. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, bub. Hey, I'm just going to go out on a limb here, but... That looks like it's brand new. Kind of like the engine oil. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Kick it! Kick it! Oh, he's coming back Kick alive. Kick it! Man, put that on your National Geographic channel. <laughs> that would hurt somebody. Did you see how I missed it the first time? <laughs> yeah, I'm put a hole in the oil air filter. It's, a, it's a fact of my vision. <laughs> your vision. I'm gonna go back to the eye doctor soon. <laughs> That's yeah. brand new. We're gonna put that back in there. You see what that says there, bud? Fram. Fram. Only the best. Military likes their Fram filters. Well, at least we got a cat filter down there. I know it just drives comments. That's the only reason I showed it. <laughs> Hey, is that orange inside there too? Yeah. Like that was made by Fram? Yeah. Oh my 
my goodness. sixteenths. All right, that fuel filter's been changed. I'm going to double check and make sure they changed this one up here too while we're in here. Sometimes I don't trust. We're going to have a fuel explosion. I hope not. That thing's brand new. I'm gonna put you back together. Is this like a first time ever not having to do this? <laughs> Probably. Usually they come in not running. Yeah, 367 hours showing on that dude. This has the newer 3306 direct injection. It's been updated. All right. I'm going to take a panel off there. We're going to check, uh, get some of these linkages lubed up and throttle. And we'll be back. Maybe one day you can paint like these guys, Kevin. I probably do, I just don't know. I'm gonna send this panel down with an extra piece of paint. Thank you. But this stows away is another 50,000 pounds. Maybe. All right. Dash now? Well, it's got 5,000 controls in it. Uh, yeah, that's true. All I right. Know, I didn't know if they're linkages, if they would lean forward a little bit and give us so all is not well in land of caterpillar well for whatever reason for they make stuff a pain in the butt to work on but uh our d accelerator noticed outside the throttle wasn't revving all up but there's a you guys can't see it because it's way buried back in behind the motor there's a bell crank and it's wore out and they've been in there and they welded the shaft in so you can't pull a shaft out and fix it so we're gonna have to rip all this stuff off take the air cleaner out try to get you guys a little better look in there and see what's going on we thought this was going to be so simple too. Yeah, we're doing so well. Where'd your little impact go? This is why I don't like working on caterpillars. Don't make anything easy. don't know the struggle of taking these bolts out with this much paint on there. You force them on. Make 
Okay. Get a little closer. Air cleaner coming off, Tom? Sure does appear to be. It's gonna make our life a lot easier. Everybody wonders why I don't buy caterpillars and work on them all the time. <laughs> they just don't make some things easy to work on as other brands, I will say that. It's got this monster's mount right there. Need extension? Yeah, I need a... get my twister on here. Oh. Maybe. But that's not like. Nope. I feel like you're gonna take the intake off too, aren't you? Might as well. I'm just be rebuild. rebuilding. We're this? just gonna rebuild it now. We probably ought to um, blow some dirt out of here so it don't fall in there. Yeah. Oh, I like how they did that. Stupid caterpillars. Coming. I never understood why they did this. Sure would be push. nice to be able to get on this side. Yeah, but we wouldn't do that. Can you push it back? Got it. I'll tape that up. Sure you guys still can't see. That's our problem down there. Then I got somebody calling me at the same time. Alright, we'll be back. <laughs> You're backing up. Oh, the alarm's going off. <laughs> you done? Why don't you flip up the little thing? You done pissed it off or shut the disconnect <laughs> off? <laughs> it's the most annoying backup alarm ever. The power of the die grinder. All right, so what he's doing is cutting this weld off here that somebody's gommed on here trying to, I don't know what they were doing. Fixing stuff. Fixing stuff. You doing you good? Let me get that little hammer and I can tap it a little bit. 
You got some on the top there, ain't there? Good thing you welded that back on when you was in the army. <laughs> back in the war of Vietnam. There you go. I'll let you hold use those. I don't Get think I'm old enough to be in the army. I definitely wouldn't have passed the physical exam. Mental or physical? No, <laughs> no. Probably the mental side, but. Probably would have done a couple of check marks by my name. Get that back in the right way. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. So here's the issue. That used to have a bushing in it. Mm, no more. Is that sloppy, sloppy? I'm gonna guess yes. Hmm. So uh, I know that pin sloppy where it goes in the machine. We'll fix that. I gotta go get my semi. I'm gonna leave you with it. Okay. What? I'll, uh, I'll weld it to it. Weld it to it. I don't think that's how it works. Make it fixed. <laughs> you think there's any spacers that's supposed to be on there? Or it's just not supposed to be wore out. Well, that pin's wore out too. And I had a cotter pin in it here. Mm -hmm. So that cotter pin you took out wasn't doing anything. Yeah, it was supposed to be over here somewhere, but I don't see the hole. Well, you're gonna come up with a plan. I'd say you're gonna have to drill that out, oversize this pin. Mm. We may have to oversize that out and get mm -hmm. a bushing or something. Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out, we'll be back. Did you do good work? I did. That looks like a grade eight bolt to me, bud. Uh-uh. Uh, that's custom. You got it all nice and tight now? Yeah. Oh yeah. One of the 5,000 brackets that we don't need and bell cranks and it's over engineered, you ain't talk it? talk about ridiculous. It is, right? How we couldn't have figured that out in one or two angles, I don't know. Did you get the bottom one on? Yeah. Oh, you like don't need me, huh? Well, I just need this one tightened up. Okay. I think that's it right here. And then we got to do a test. I just hope I got it the right way. You just hope. Well. Are you ready? You got all of them. Is that it? Yeah. Why is the steering levers both back in my face? Uh, well, so I had to remove those as they, well. They seem kind of free right now. Huh. The whole dash is moving. So, we're not working. Yeah, you're standing perfectly straight up. You're in a complete bind now. Complete combine. Look at that. It's as perfectly straight as it could ever be. Oh yeah, it went over center, huh? Yeah. You need some lengthening. Yeah. What, right here? Yeah, we need something. Okay, we'll figure it out. There's probably a whole operation in the book that takes you 18 steps. Wanna try that? We got it back together the right way. Well. I may have to go back and watch the video. Because uh, we're not doing anything now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got to go back the other way. So what you're telling me is that we nailed it. Oh, the pedal's still up. We got a lot of problems here. We'll be back, folks, after we figure it all out. Probably <laughs> two hours later. 
All right, now you just told me everything you do. Now you gotta tell everybody else what you just did. Like you did a whole that. bunch of adjusting. Yeah. I see some new Link, pins. Lengthen some rods and then uh, shorten this one. Move the throttle pedal. One of the uh, 18,000 connections yeah. and joints. And yeah, and before you know it, it you works get like it. it's supposed to. Well, that feels better. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? You're the best. But it's not all bound up. <laughs> I think you might be onto something there. Yeah. <clears throat> you get a gold star for today. Woohoo! First thing. I don't know where it's at, but. Oh. I'll make one sparkle on the screen. Okay. <laughs> now. Put it right here. <laughs> Are we putting all this back together? Are you positive with your work? Yeah, I feel good. Feel good? It yeah, feels we'll, good. We'll go for it. All right. You reverse. Never shut off or something like reverse that. Reverse the order of operation. Yeah. How much hole are we going in this one? Yeah. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Just when you thought I was doing good. Uh. What's that? Oh. Well, what did we do here? That bolts to there. Obviously, you found us. That rod does not belong there. One of these rods ain't like the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to turn it the other way. Man, it works really good that way, though. Does it? Have you considered taking this intake and fixing it? <laughs> I'm concerned about putting it in a dumpster. <laughs> What did you do wrong? Uh, obviously... It worked so good. Yeah, well, I obviously did not watch the video. Pay attention. Where's this at? <clears throat> Maybe oh, we just leave it wide open all the time. There you go. See, it'll fit that way. Yeah, we just need to turn the linkage the other way. We'll take one of these off and mm -hmm. kick it inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, good time. Take two. Take two. Love. It goes in easy, it just don't come out easy. I guess I got that. I know. I gotta get under this hose <laughs> first. There we go. Our little tabs. Get that started. This tabby here. Yep. Get the wiggle shake. Oh yeah. You got it. All right, we're gonna leave most of that stuff off the engine up there, just because to get it washed and cleaned and painted. I'm gonna double check the uh, hydraulics. I've not checked it yet. We checked the radiator, it was full. Transmission's gonna need a little bit once we get it fired up. So we just gotta check the winch and the funnel drives, and then we'll take this thing back outside if I ever get this cap off. She's on the ad line there, so we'll top that off too while well, I got the fluid out. All right. All right, back here in the final drives. We'll see what we got. Waiting behind the plug. Oh, fold to the top. Good clean oil. So this dozer is 1972, I think, but it's got a 2008 rebuild on it, which is pretty new for one of these. I'd say the hour meter, whatever it had, 300 and some hours is since the rebuild. That's good and full. Nice clean oil. All right. 
and check the winch, I believe. That is it right there. Get it checked and then we'll uh, top our two tanks off and fire up. All right, got that plug broke loose. We got good clean oil right there. Nice. You guys see me pull this in, I, the winch does work on it. Just tried that out a couple of times. So. We're about ready to fire this dude up, top that tranny off and the, man, I just can't keep from peeling off the paint, Kevin. It's just like addicting. <laughs> All right, getting a little TH wood, hydraulic tank, top off his transmission. It was right below the ad, which I think, yeah. Three gallons, we need to put three gallons in that, that should be good. That's a big ad mark, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know you got a big transmission when you're- Adding in the G's. And add the full three gallons. That's good. See what happens here? Yep. I didn't snap it over here. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys could hear the uh, Wild America thunderstorm that was happening under here. We got a loose cable over here. Now, <laughs> now in turn, we did not touch that cable. We just loosened that part up. Might be wise to check the other four. Hey, there's Uncle Scott. Maybe we need a 3 8 nut. See, he's got them in his pocket. Okay. All better now? Good check. Good check. Ooh. Ooh. Those come out of your... Those are shiny. Yeah, they've been rolling around my pocket. All polished. Now you're going to put them in your pocket. That's what we do. Try it this time. Oh no. What's the deal with that? I don't know. But you're proud of me, aren't you? <laughs> well, we got half throttle. <laughs> That's all you need with a caterpillar. Is that right? Yeah. We'll be back. <laughs> all right, so this rod's going back and hitting against the dash, which it shouldn't. I'm thinking this is maybe clocked wrong on here, so we're going to take this off. We can't move that because that's on a keyed shaft, but this is spline, so maybe i'll spline it out i noticed this thing is all the way threaded in so they've been uh been messing with that's a problem we're trying to backtrack what somebody else did and it's trial and error you didn't much chance bring a screwdriver and a hammer did you <laughs> I 
Gracias for delay. Did you spray this on? Look, I helped it. Okay, thanks. So I'm in the wide open throttle position and this is adjusted into the way water. Yeah, and I pull it back and That's probably enough with adjustment on this, ain't it? Yeah. Try that. Let me see if this lever pushes all the way forward enough. For the kill. Whoa. Oh yeah, you got that for days. Okay. Put that in and try over again. We got wide open. We don't know if we got kill, so this could get rowdy real quick. You ready? open <laughs> this handle is hitting the dash i just wonder if we need to adjust this linkage what so about up here adjust this linkage yeah you need to go back because i'm not running wide open okay and then we'll try to adjust something this handle is hitting the dash <laughs> we'll, uh, well this is just like a puzzle We should do a count on how many joints and linkages we have here. Uh, too many. Yeah, I'll adjust this one right here. They've got it run all the way out. Hey look, paint's blowing off. I'm gonna try to make this shorter. Somebody's run it out, so. Tells me that it's kind of out of whack. Hmm, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Now they don't refer to me as the guy holding the camera. <laughs> I'd like to thank you when I go there. Hey, I like to overachieve on things like this. I noticed that. Not my caterpillar. <clears throat> that goes to that, that goes to that, that goes to that, that goes down to that. It drops down there. One, two, three, to here, four, to simply five, to here. Six, seven, and There's like. 12. I mean, before you know it, folks, it's pretty much just a simple throttle lever. It's like 12 linkages, boys and girls. <laughs> that only, only takes one highly trained technician to screw it all up. <laughs> Whew. 
Oh, you did it. Ta-da, it's just that simple. How do you feel about that? Ten hours later, we got it. <laughs> for about a week or so but the guys got this thing all sandblasted looks like kevin's got it primered up looking good getting ready for some paint um here on monday so today's actually saturday I'm coming here to see what they had going on so we'll bring you back when she's all green All right, Mr. Kevin's done another beautiful, fantastic job. You guys just seen it in the primer there a while ago. About done uh, putting the final touches on here. We got some decals that Tucker made up here for us. Looking good. What you doing up here, bub? Yeah. Putting the big old caterpillar sticker on up front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got the grill all painted. Makes a big right. difference on her. I'll tell you if it's straight. Looks good. It's good enough for a 50, 52 year old dozer. Definitely looks a lot better. So, got the side shields and everything on there. Let's dig 18's gonna be jealous. Sorry. And I got another one sitting outside too, but it's actually got good paint on it. So. Looking good, looking good. Get this thing all done. We'll get a little picture of her pulling outside here in a second. Looks crooked. Huh, that's weird. <laughs> Looks good, bub. She's a beaut. Now Jay's just got to put it up for sale. Let's do it. Well, that is a wrap on this one, folks. Kevin's got it all looking beautiful again. We'll get all that throttle fixed and serviced. And This one's been a little while. I can't remember what all we did to it. It was only like two minutes ago in the video. Throttle linkage, not the throttle linkage on. city that we spent forever on. So, mm -hmm. and ended up tearing the whole top off of it. The whole hood, and mm -hmm. you guys put it all back together. It's looking good. Yeah. I like it. 
you guys don't know we're always selling these dozers so if you guys have seen this video a little on down the road we usually keep them in stock i do have another one out back um too so definitely hit us up we're always messing military tractors and dozers for sure so and do us a big favor you guys like this video go down below hit that thumbs up button it helps us out tremendously and uh you guys got any comments or anything drop them down below and we'll check all those out so thanks for messing up our video people that truck's deleted it's illegal <laughs> anyway guys we'll catch you next time